So this is our residence where we are staying. This is where we were chilling yesterday, yesterday evening. So this is the man that will be working his magic today. The videographer and the cameraman, a good friend on. On let us know what kind of equipment you'll be using. I'm using two cameras. Okay. One is Panasonic GH4, it's a 4K camera. And the other one is Blackmagic Cinema Camera. And the third one we have is a drone. It's a Phantom 4K. And we're gonna be taking some aerial shots and hopefully it'll be good. Okay, who has arrived? For today, this is the vehicle that we'll be using for the distribution. Just waiting for on at the moment. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too long. And then we're gonna make our way. So we're just at the depot, taking a few pictures of the wheels. They have all arrived. Thankfully, just counting them up. I'm just gonna load them onto the vehicle. Um, yeah, we've got the banner as well, so we'll distribute that to the community. And um, we've got the handles here. I'm the cameraman today, alongside Owen as well. Need to get loads of shots in. The weather's nice, as expected. I'm just waiting for the waiting for the truck to load up the wheels. So we've got the boys shifting the food, the wheat, sugar and ghee into the vehicle and we're just going to have a quick count of the wheels, it should be 290, we'll probably load around half today for distribution and the rest tomorrow or the day after. So the vehicles all loaded up, as you can see. That's one of the vehicles with the handles on there. This is the second vehicle, all loaded up as well. We'll put the caps on, we'll put the caps on right there and the handles. Save a lot of space. Let go. So we're about to fly the drone now. We're just calibrating it at the moment. We're on our way to the first destination. We want to get a clip of. We want to get a clip of both the vehicles. So we just want to get a clip of both the vehicles traveling to the destination. And um, yeah, just testing it out now. So I've got the drone in my hand. It's owned by over there, setting it up on the remote. There's the vehicles here. So the drone has started. Owns doing this thing. You can see from the remote. I'll get you like that. The guys are very impressed with the piece of kit that we had. See the look on their faces. So, this is the first village that we've come to just now. And we're about to distribute the food and the wheels. As you can see there, they're just unloading it. So we're just gathering the people around the village just to come and collect the food and, and the water wheels. So hot, scorching hot. Look at that camel. About to pull the water out of the well. Filling up the water wheel, showing them how it works. Train them up, give them a bit of knowledge in case they start filling up with, I don't know, milk or some other product. Inshallah, they'll be impressed. Just showing them again how to fill up the wheel. Invite some friends over. Oh, 
It's a beautiful feeling. Giving back to the community. Can you feel it? Good? Good? Let's pray again. Okay? Let's pray again. I think everyone's going about their business now. We've done what we need to do. Let's make moves. And we just made it to the second village. Owen's got a towel over his head. It's getting quite hot. If you guys have a look. Got a little bodyguard. Bit of a hot spot. Damn, it's hot out here. <laughs> Never experienced anything like it to be honest with you. But it's good to experience this heat. I think if I have a shower, I'll start sweating within 30 seconds again. I'm just gonna check out the local mosque in the village. Check out their little huts where people live. I'll show you the uh, I'll show you the mosque as well. Got a sweaty cab. It's difficult to manage the photography and the vlogs at the same time, but I'm trying my best. So do bear with me. So this is the mosque, the local mosque. Here. Check it out. I just need to take a few shots of it with the camera, and I'll get back to you. Just removing the gate from the door. Oh, well. Just going to head to the school and distribute to all of them. I think it takes around at least an hour for each village. So we're going to make the most of our time with the sunlight. So, yeah. Good morning. So it's quarter past 11 in the morning. We've done three villages so far. It's going well. Um, we're going to try, try and do as many as we can before sunset. Um, so let's see how it goes. It's taken us approximately around half an hour to 45 minutes per village. Um, but we're taking a route to another village now. We've been in there for the past 15 minutes. Um, because some of them are quite far out, uh, further away from the road. So we will be distributing 20 wheels at this uh, village. We've got solar panels as well. They will gather around the well. The village is that way there. Three, four kilometers. As you can see, it's a human crisis. It's a basic need that these guys need. It will save a lot of time for these guys. Inshallah, they'll give us kawas. Investing in your future. There's some more left in here. Around eight wheels. There are like hundreds of kids around us. And there's more coming. So many people, they want to part the action. And it makes sense they should do. We're just getting the wheels ready, putting the caps on them. Then we'll start distributing and some of the food in the other truck. We'll get that arranged. Oh my gosh, have an ex. No, no, Tika. Haven't actually experienced anything like it. Lips are dry. I'm draining out. I don't know how these people do it on a daily basis. I really don't know how these guys survive on minimal water on a daily basis. 
I can literally taste salt in my mouth. It's that hot and I'm sweating really badly. Uh, but yeah, we're just lining up here. Line them all up for the shoot. Let's see how it goes. I need to take some pics. But we managed to capture a good shot. Um, I think I can drink around 10 gallons of water today. So let's see. Huh? Mohab bad bai pee na pani? Sure eh? So this is the fourth village that we come to. They're pulling the water out of the well. So I'm just going to show you guys how they extract the water from the well. It's around 300 feet down. So uh, the camera ready. On your marks. Get set. Go! So this is how they do it. So once they take it out of the well, Hopefully, inshallah, they'll put it into the H2O wheels and they'll transport it to their residence. Let's just wait for the water to come out. So we're around 15 kilometers away from the Indian border, so we need to be quite careful with flying the drone so we don't get into any trouble. Um, so yeah, we'll try and fly it low as possible, just getting everyone together. And to do the shoot. Aga naam kya hai? Butta. Aur aapka? Langali butta. Langali butta. Aur aapka? Kitne saal honge ho? Baran saal ke. Aur aap? Teran saal ke. So guys, um, I just want to give a quick shout out to Dr. Muhammad Asif Ja on uh, helping us out here. Or uh, we have. Um, Mr. Guldraz here, who's helping us out, showing us around uh, the villages because we're in unknown territory. So uh, yeah, he's been a great help, much appreciated, and I uh, think he'll be sticking around with us for the next few days. Just lined them all up, just to take a photo shoot. As you can see, we're in the middle of nowhere, we're just coming back from one of the villages. So it's really isolated from the road. Look at that. Approaching them, they're just chilling in the middle of the road. Get out of the way! Yeah, move on. So we're just chilling out with some of the boys here. English aati hai? Good morning aata hai? Thank you aata hai? Nahi, kuch bhi nahi. Oh. So, what's your name? Ramir. Okay, and what's your name? Hey, Isha. Oh. There's a bit of civilization there yeah. that we need to try and reach. End up. There's no tracks before that. We're making new tracks. So, this is the final destination for day one. Uh, to distribute the wheels. Got a beautiful sunset behind us. We're just at the well, so this is usually the time when ladies come and uh, fetch water. Um, so we brought some around 20 wheels to this uh, village.